Well, I'm Dr. Patrick Hughes, CEO of Moffitt Cancer Center. We're here in Chicago at ASCO 2024, and I'm here with Dr. Eric Hara, who is a lung cancer expert at Moffitt Cancer Center. Thanks so much for being yeah, here Yeah, great to be here with you, Patrick. Yeah, yeah thanks. So tell us what's going on in the world of lung cancer. Well, I think the thing that I'm most excited about is all the RAS therapeutics, you know, it's, and it's beyond lung cancer, Patrick. So, you know, people think that uh, uh, mutations in the RAS gene result in about 30% of cancer deaths. So it's lung cancer, colon, pancreas, and melanoma, as you well know. And for me, the most exciting thing that I'm seeing is a lot of therapeutics that are able to target RAS, and it really is addressing a, a huge unmet medical need. Um, so I think that's the thing that I'm most excited about at the meeting uh, and, and looking forward to seeing more therapeutics in that area. Great. You know, the first therapeutics are very exciting. They were against yeah. the G12C right. mutation. Right. Now, there are other mutations yeah. in RAS. Right. How are we doing at targeting those other yeah. mutations? Yeah. Well, the great thing is there's now uh, drugs that are targeting G12D. There probably be uh, new drugs that are targeting G12V. And uh, one of the things that's really interesting is there's also drugs that can target all forms of RAS, including wild type. And there's a lot of interesting preclinical data that I think ultimately will come to a meeting like this that shows double hitting RAS with either mutant specific drugs or wild type inhibitors is really going to have profound effects. Uh, and then there's also many uh, therapeutics that target what we call accessory proteins in the RAS pathway that can be combined with these direct RAS inhibitors. So their field is really electric right now. And I think it's really great for patients uh, because uh, areas like pancreas cancer really have not had great progress in the last decade. And I'm really enthusiastic that we're bringing uh, active drugs to patients that really need it. Now, when you say we're starting to target pan RAS, yeah. Makes me a little nervous about potential yeah. toxicity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so you're right. are these drugs yeah. uh, tolerable? Yeah, the, the early data suggests yes, okay, which, which you're right. Many people thought that, that uh, humans may not be able to tolerate RAS inhibition, but the side effects appear to be pretty minimal, maybe a little bit of uh, nausea, maybe a little bit of skin rash. But so far, there's nothing that really looks dangerous, and it really could allow us to combine it with other things, including immunotherapeutics. So that's why I'm really enth enthusiastic about it. Well, how exciting. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being here with us. Uh, Dr. Eric Hara, not only a lung cancer expert, expert in RAS pathways and everything molecular. Yep. So thank Great. you for Great. being here. Thanks.